Art Biz Show is here to help artists like you find the path towards art success. Thank you for joining me, your host, JC, and ArtBizShow.com. Oof. Today, we are talking about the press release. So without a public relations branch of your business, you may find yourself being the one doing all the reaching out to reporters to care about you and what you're doing with yourself. Now, fortunately, reporters are always looking for new stories and interesting people, especially your local reporters. Now, the sole purpose of a press release is to notify and excite a reporter affiliated with a press or media outlet to amplify what you have to say. Now, generally, press releases are most appropriate for events, uh, awards, and new creations. And bonus points if you could tie in current events to what you're doing. Uh, for example, you get accepted to a, an art exhibition, press release. You receive a award or grant from some committee, press release. You finished a new body of work, press release. Even you taught your dog to paint with oil paint, press release. Now understand selecting the right reporter is important. Now, some reporters might cover movie reviews. Some might cover, you know, music venues or performance calendars. Make sure you're sending your press release to the reporter that covers and appreciates the art world. Or you might be wasting your precious time. Understand how to motivate your local demographic to care about what you're doing and your success. For this, you should revisit episode three, where I cover a market niche, specifically where I talk about the psychographics. It's understanding your niche's behaviors and motives for action. Always be sure to maintain your intention throughout the release. Like, so if you're having an event, focus on the event. So like, don't start talking about, you know, other events of the year or new ideas you have, whatever. Focus on one goal with your one thing. Remember, better headlines will give you better chances of grabbing attention and keep it direct. Now, I'm probably going to say this like eight times. Make sure your text is grammatically flawless. No spelling errors. Very, 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 very important. Come on. All right, so let's take a moment and consider the reporter's perspective. Understand that the reporter is probably preoccupied with numerous stories all at once under strong deadlines while being showered with hundreds of email inquiries like yours. It is important to be patient, grateful, and understanding with the reporter. Know that the easier you make hit their job, the smoother it will go for you. Write the article ready to be published. Like, make it ready to just bypass the editor. Now, be sure to have high-resolution images ready to send when they ask for them. The reporter will probably be looking for answers to the following questions. Is there anything new about this story? What is different or surprising about this story? Will my audience be interested in the story, and will they really care? Now, the press release itself, typically no longer than two pages. One page is very ideal. Gen generally written in third person as if the press you know, al already wrote it about you. Remember that the purpose of the press release is to convince the press or recipient that your event is newsworthy. Know that timing is very crucial. So consider sending a press release six months before, three months before, and one week before the event. Now, sometimes the gallery, if it's a gallery exhibition, will ask you for your preliminary information, like information included in your artist packet. Now, I cover exactly what you need in your artist packet in episode five, so check that out. And everything has to be grammatically correct and no spelling errors. Now, here are some tips for creating a press release around an event. So paragraph one, you're going to want to cover the date, time, location, you know, with the venue name, the address, and admission costs. Uh, 
and the type of event. So are we talking like a performance, a workshop, exhibition, whatever? And who's involved? What kind of artists, what kind of, you know, galleries, committees, sponsors, etc.? Now in paragraph two, talk about artworks being displayed, any grants received for the creations of the show, any kind of past reviews of the work, and any lectures or classes in conjunction with the exhibition. Paragraph three, explain any kind of special techniques or concepts, local and cultural relevance that should grab the media. Also cover what kind of steps were taken in completing the artworks. And it's also very important to include links to where people can learn more about the event, you know, any kind of frequently asked questions that can be answered or, you know, any kind of promotional material. So it's very important that you cover the who, the what, the when, the where, the why. Now you may want to, you know, use your words to create a scene. Let them, you know, be intrigued by the re the press release. It's also very important to personalize the pitch to the reporter you're sending it to or the recipient. And to get to the point, don't start it with to whom it may concern. Personalize it. Know who you're sending it to. Know that they will care. Yes, I know we're all busy, but know the reporter you're sending it to. Now, with that said, remember that there's no time for fluff. Just get to the point. Now, of course, you might get some brownie points if you uh, if you mention old uh, press re reports that the co that the reporter has covered in the past, similar to the event that you're asking him to cover or her to cover, whatever. Now, with all this being said, yeah, it's fun. Get a press release, send it out, you know, and whenever you have an event or anything interesting, anything of interest to the public, but understand that you do not want to bombard reporters with uninteresting news like oh hey i just picked up this new paint it's really cool check it out press release no 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 no. Th this will inevitably hinder your chances of getting a future articles keep in mind that you want to be a reliable source for the reporter now you may want to start small start local and work your way up to the national news in time now, occasionally, depending on where you live, uh, the national news, you know, will time to time look at the, the locals for any kind of interesting coverage. So focus on a unique story. So once you have a press release, you may want to check out these sites to really kind of expand outside of your local community or even country. You may want to check out e-releases, contactable.io www.pressfarm.com muckrack.com www.hot.press and helpareporterout.com All right, wrapping up. Here's the recap. When sending your press release, have an exciting and newsworthy story and keep it direct and on one event. Write it to be published as is. No grammatical spelling errors or misspellings. Contact specific reporters directly that are interested in covering your niche. And be sure to include links and contacts. Thank you for joining me, JC, and ArtBizShow.com. See you next time. Thank you for joining us on the ArtBiz Show. Learn more at ArtBizShow.com. That is A-R-T-B-I-Z-S-H-O-W.com. ArtBizShow.com. See the show notes for more helpful info. Check out our other episodes and please share this with those who need it most. Subscribe for future episodes. Follow us on Twitter at ArtBizShow, Instagram at ArtBizShow, and Facebook at ArtBizPro. Your support will help us to help artists' communities. You can support us at www.patreon.com slash ArtBizPro. No donation is too small or large.